If you've never made mashed or smashed potatoes in the slow cooker, this is gonna be a good trick for you to learn because it's hands off. The potatoes just cook in the slow cooker for a couple hours, leaving the rest of your kitchen open to make the rest of the meal. Great for holidays, great if you just have a busy day and you wanna get the side dish on early. So here I have two pounds of little red potatoes and I've washed them already. And we're just gonna cut them in half right before we add them to the cooker. I like cutting them in half lengthwise. That way, you know, if you have a biggish one and a smallish one, they actually are the same thickness, so they'll still cook at the same rate. All right, so I'm just cutting each of these in half. All right, so into the slow cooker they go. I'm gonna use a nice big, <laughs> This is a bench scraper that was designed for chocolate. So this is an average size bench scraper, and this is the oversized one. I call this the guillotine, but it's really great for moving lots of vegetables all in one fell swoop. So into the slow cooker they go. So I'm gonna add three tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna add a teaspoon of table salt, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. And now I'm gonna add three peeled garlic cloves and I'm just gonna smash them with the side of the knife just to help release some of their flavor. All right, into the pot they go. So you're just gonna stir all this together. I know, not a lot of liquid, but the potatoes really will cook through. So now I'm gonna put the lid on and you have a choice at this point, whether you wanna cook it on high or low. So on high, it only takes three to four hours. On low, it takes five to six. So whatever works into your timeline for dinner is what you can choose. All right, I'm gonna go on high, four hours. All right, so now it's time to take a look at the potatoes. They've been cooking away in the slow cooker. Again, on high heat for about three hours. You can test for doneness because a fork will go right through them. All right, those potatoes are good and tender. So I'm gonna turn the pot off and I'm gonna actually put it back on warm. That just keeps things warm until serving time. Now I'm gonna add some buttermilk and some sour cream because they have a lovely tangy flavor. So that's two thirds of a cup of buttermilk and just a quarter cup of sour cream. And now we're gonna go in with a potato masher and just mash them or smash them. Now this is not gonna be super smooth. These aren't fancy potatoes. These are rustic smashed potatoes. So some chunks are okay. And the potatoes almost take on a roasted aroma and flavor as they cook this way in the slow cooker, which is really nice. All right, that looks pretty good. Again, smashed, not mashed. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna add just a few chives, freshly chopped chives. You want about two tablespoons. Into the pot the chives go. Stir those chives in, oh ho ho. That looks good. Let's serve up the potatoes. I love these smashed potatoes because they're not wet, they're really creamy, and they have that slight roasted flavor. Thanks for watching. What'd you think? Leave a comment below and let me know what you're excited to cook this week. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. You can get today's recipes and more for free at our website, americastestkitchen.com slash julia at home.